in this series we are going to build this nice profile kind of like a profile of a wallet application um, in this lesson we will start by building out uh, the tabs of uh, our application so we'll go right into it but note that I'm using react uh, not angular I'm using react here um, that's the uh, template I'm using and it's a blank template so it contains only the home page yeah so that's it so how do we add um, a tab like this to Ionic app in react all right sorry let's check out the documentation and in the documentation we can see some code here the react version of adding ion uh, tabs so we can see that the tabs is kind of like a container and the container has another mm, container like ion tab bar in it so what's the difference between the ion tabs and the ion tab bar the ion tabs kind of like a router container kind of it helps in um in in navigation but the tab bar gives that um, ui bit the, the the user interface bit of the uh, tabs and the buttons here correspond to these buttons as we see in the demo here so let's add it to our application now i'm going to add it here because there is one thing about the ion tabs the ion tabs this needs an ion uh, it needs a, a, a router an outlet it needs a place where it will uh, show the selected tabs so I'm going to put our ion tabs here Three. yeah so it wraps the router and then as a sibling of the router we are going to put the ion tap bar here which is going to house the uh, buttons but we need to let a uh, ionic know where to put it so I'm going to use the slot and tell it that we want it at the bottom we want the tab bar to be at the bottom now let's add our first ion um, tab button here which is going to contain a label so ion label and the label will be my wallet yes so notes we have the ion tabs which has the outlet and the tab bar as a children now the outlets will be where our pages will, will, will uh, be rendered so uh, currently we have only the home page and uh, this one redirects here and then we have our tab bar which houses the buttons and here we have just one uh, ion tab button with a, with this level so let's check out how it looks like sorry um okay so yep there we have it we have only one uh tab bar here sorry one tab button let's add the second one below it let's copy and paste this one and this so the second one is inside
the last one is two let's go back rendering uh, reloading sorry and yes we have our three um, label buttons in the tab bar let's add our icons all right so ion icon and we're going to provide an icon we're going to import the icon from ion accounts so let's import ionic con slash icons. We're going to import wallet. We import a hat. And we will import a car sorry calculator. So we're going to use them here. So the first one is a wallet. The second is a heart, and the third is a tool. Let's check it out. Sorry, it's a calculator. Sorry, yeah. So there we go. Yep, we have how oh nice buttons here now let's we have to do something to our our buttons let's check out the documentation so in the iron tab documentation let's look at the um tab um property it says a tab id must be provided for each iron tab it's used internally to reference the selected tab or by the router to switch between them so we this um the tab is used internally to switch between the um, tabs that we provide uh, that's uh, this tab actually i think we've uh yeah yeah that is it but there is another property that i want us to look at the href it contains a url or a url fragment that the hyperlink points to is if this property sets an anchor tag will be rendered so we can pass um an href which will uh, navigate around uh, you the page uh, using this uh, router outlets with the route with this route here so let's say we have maybe a couple of routes like uh, about and settings and that um, we can pass an href which will point to say about and when we click on it to point there so let's just make this home sense um, when we tap on it or should point to the home yeah. yeah I guess that is it this this and that um, let's add the tab property as well which is which will also be home tab home and then home I feel like I'm doing something wrong somewhere let me verify I feel like I'm doing something wrong I feel like I'm doing something wrong um nope 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 i'm okay i'm okay all right okay all right so this is just an example um of uh, how to build a tab 
yeah but notice how we did it we wrapped the tabs around uh, an ion route outlet and the ion uh, tab bar in the documentation it didn't provide the route outlet bits which i don't know maybe they will add later yeah so kind of like that is it for now um let's change a couple of, let, let's make this a tool and see something let's make this a hot no no an insight slash insight let's change the tab to two inside let's see something yeah so you notice that earlier on when all of them were uh home 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 tabs home hrf home all of them were uh, selected kind of yeah uh -huh. so you see as we click it changes so if we have if we have different uh routes with uh, their own components here they will all um be rendered here let me just do it demo i only like generate uh, inside and generate page inside okay what is it say cannot generate cannot perform generate for reactor okay so the generate uh, command is available for react application so we can just copy and paste and change it to insight and just change the home to insight site component and then uh, let's just say insight here and uh, make this a blank something yeah and let's do same for tool so tool tool and tool and in the app we're going to import them and provide them here so inside we'll, we'll import the inside component yep and it's imported here and that's what you're passing to it so take this off and to to take this off and we should be okay now let's change the title for the two let's go back and let's see so insight yep and two yep and let's go back to here and we are good so that is it um hmm can we change the <coughs> sorry primary color to something like this let's go to our theme let's go to um seems like it has a the tertiary has a color already so we can use that or hmm what's the decision here mm, all right let's check the buttons properties and see so we can provide a color doesn't have a color property for us to provide we can uh, style it do some css styling to it but i want us to use another approach let's check out the guide on the theming aspects and then let's check the css variables here and 
it seems like my internet is not working at the moment I have a problem so let's just we're going to do something I'm just going to copy these paste them here and then change tertiary to primary then and then remove this one and then later I will change the tertiary path so let's check it again and yes we have a nice UI yeah looks like that all right so we have the um, tab bar the tabs bit done in this lesson um, let me see if uh, the tab bar seems like the tab bar has a border style kind of let's check the documentation and see well so my internet all right so in the next lesson i'll see if we can take off this bit and then we will continue with building this portion out thank you